One more tribe to talk about today, and that is the youngest. That's the tribe of Benjamin. And Benjamin's interesting. Benjamin, um, the land that Benjamin is given is actually contained inside the land of the tribe of Judah. So when the nation splits, and there's the kind of the north-south split between Israel and Judah after Solomon's death, Benjamin goes with the tribe of Judah. And listen how Benjamin is described here, his tribe. Benjamin is a ravenous wolf, devouring his enemies in the morning and dividing his plunder in the evening. So the tribe of Benjamin was a warrior tribe. They were known for their fierce warriors, and they were even known for having a lot of left-handed people, uh, which I always thought was very interesting. And you know, the, why why would why would that be talked about in the Bible? Well, one reason that's talked about in the Bible is that left-handed warriors at that time it would have been an advantage. You know, it's not like think about sports today. Uh, you know, a left-handed tennis player, a left-handed pitcher, a left-handed basketball player. There's an advantage in that because it's different from what you usually see. So the way that they would hold their weapons, swing their weapons, the the tactics they would use would be different and would be difficult sometimes for people to be able to deal with. So they were a warrior tribe. That's talked about in Judges chapter three with um, one of the um, one of the judges, a gentleman named Ehud. Um, Saul was actually the first king of Israel. Was actually from the tribe of Benjamin, and so. This tribe was um, one that battled, fought, and never backed down. Uh, they were a they, they were a warrior tribe of people, and so God speaks to that uh, very well here. And so uh, we'll talk about the next stage of Jacob's discussions with his sons tomorrow.